No, 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 no. If I just pushed a child out of my vagina and I just tore and I am bleeding and people have been poking and prodding me for hours, I want the good snacks. I feel like you're naked half the time in a diaper and people are constantly touching you anyway, so what else could you possibly need? Do you guys not wear your pajamas more than once? Like, is that just a me thing? But, like, I am... I'll leave that now, it's a sign. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Alyssa. I am a 24 year old first time mom. I am about 39 weeks pregnant with my son. I just cannot believe we have made it. We are in the home stretch people. I have gone ahead today and kind of weeded through more videos than I would like to admit. And I think I have found the perfect mix of realistic, minimal hospital bag packing. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So as far as our bag goes, me and my fiance Dakota are taking one standard size rolling carry-on suitcase. We're sharing it. If it didn't fit in the suitcase, it was not coming with us. And then I have a, I think it's a seven pack of packing cubes that I got off of Amazon a while ago. I'll try and find them for you. I absolutely love these. They kind of bend so you can kind of force them into the suitcase if you have to. So we'll start with mine. The first thing I have packed is just this white hoodie. I got it off of Amazon. It's actually a men's and I'm super tall so I like the long sleeves on it. I've rolled all of our clothes. I find that this method works the best for us to utilize the most space in the actual packing cubes. And then to go under my hoodie, I just have this really soft like creamish beige colored t-shirt. I got it from like Old Navy. So, if it's hot, I'll just end up wearing this home. And then if it's a little bit colder, I'll throw the hoodie over top of it. And then I am just wearing some really light sweatpants home. They're not fleece lined or anything like that. They're just a very fine, thin material. I got these off of Amazon as well. And then for actually after delivery, I plan to deliver in their regular hospital gown. Like I'll let them get that all bloodied up and gross. I'm not bringing my own. I just have a really, really soft, it's almost like a bamboo material nightgown. And it's got buttons all the way up the front. So it'll be nice and easy for skin to skin for when I try breastfeeding. No shame in my game for wearing this for longer than just one day. I think sometimes people bring like multiple different pajamas and I'm like, do you guys not wear your pajamas more than once? Like, is that just a me thing? But I went ahead and just grabbed this. So I think this will be really useful. And then I am bringing only two nursing bras. Obviously I'll wear one there, but these are the two that are going inside my bag. I have the greenish colored one, which has a nice rib material to it. And then this is like, a pale purplish gray type of color which are also ribbed. These are great because they have the snaps so you can attach them or detach them depending on where you are in your breastfeeding journey. And of course they have the removable pads as well if you're someone that doesn't like padding in your bras. So I'm just packing two nursing bras. For underwear, I am bringing two black granny panty underwears. I got these from Target, I believe. I think they're Hanes or something like that, but I won't be devastated if these get ruined. They're just black, nice and dark. And then socks. I am bringing one pair of black ankle socks and I am bringing one pair of fuzzy socks. That's it. I feel like that's all you need. Like you're naked half the time in a diaper and people are constantly touching you anyways. So what else could you possibly need? But if you can think of anything that like, no, Alyssa, you really, really need this, please let me know in the comments down below. Next for Dakota's bag, same situation. He just also utilized the packing cube. He's just bringing this quarter zip sweater he got from Target. It's like a bluish gray material. It's not too heavy, but it's also not too light at the same time. And then just a very basic white t-shirt. He'll go ahead and wear this either standalone if it's very hot out, or he can just throw this underneath his quarter zip if it's a little bit cooler. And for pants, he has one pair of sweatpants. I think these are just some Under Armour ones, but they're just like a very beige tan color. He'll probably wear these while we're hanging out as like pajamas in the hospital if he's not already wearing sweatpants when we arrive, but these are what he plans to go home in. Like I said, we have no shame in our game as to wearing these for pajamas and then leaving the next morning in them. So he'll be able to use these. He is bringing two pairs of boxers, 
And then for socks, he's just bringing a pair of black Nike mid caps, and then I packed him some black fuzzy socks so he doesn't try and steal mine. <laughs> and that's it for Dakota. Same situation. Multi-use, multifunctional, very minimal. Next we have our snacks. Your girl gets hangry and I am terrified to go into labor. I hear that they starve you pretty much. And so I want the snacks when I'm done. And I know people will be like, I'm packing some peanuts, some almonds, a nice kind bar. No, 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 no. If I just pushed a child out of my vagina and I just tore and I am bleeding and people have been poking and prodding me for hours, I want the good snacks. I'm sorry, sue me, they're not protein filled and amazing. I'll eat regular, you know, cafeteria food, but I want the goodies. And so we're locked and loaded. Like I am, I'll eat that now, it's a sign. I have Rice Krispies, I have mini Pringles, I have Cheez-Its, I have the regular ones and the white cheddar one, fruit by the foot, fruit roll-ups, like all the goodies. I got this in like a value pack from Target. I think it was like $8 for everything, but, it fits in this bag and we have a ton. And so sorry to the health nuts out there and those like perfect moms, but like that's not me. I want the goodies. And so I'll make sure to link this down below if you're like me and you also want some goodies in your bag that are not, how do I word this? Boring. I don't know, but I'll link this for you below. Clearly you can tell I'm ready to like bust into these snacks and I've been trying to like ward off Dakota from going into the suitcase, but I got the snacks locked and loaded. As far as shoes goes, I think we'll probably just end up wearing like our LLB moccasins there, that kind of double S like slippers. I do know the only two pairs of shoes I packed are flip flops, just some cheap like $4 ones I picked up from Target. If it is hot out, then I'll probably end up just wearing these home as well, but mainly for the shower because I'm sorry, I just, I can never get past people that like don't wear flip flops in like public showers. It like grosses me out beyond belief. So shoes for the showers for sure. And then I'm just bringing a pair of our black Ferks, we call them. They're just like fuzzy slippers that are like sandals, but they have like an actual bottom. These are like the knockoff ones from the actual fuzzy Birkenstocks. I got these from Walmart for like $12 and we're obsessed with them. I think we honestly have probably between the two of us, probably like four pairs in like different colors. Shamefully, but maybe not shamefully, judge me if you want. Me and Dakota have like almost the same size feet. Like I'm a 11 in like women's and he's a nine in men's. And so we're able to utilize shoes for sharing. So just two pairs of shoes. And then for our toiletries, I'm not bringing my own washcloth. I'm not bringing my own towel. You can rough it for one or two nights. Like I promise you, you'll be fine. So we have everything in here for our toiletries. This little front pouch here, I just have some basic Lysol wipes, some Hello Bello hand sanitizer, and then just like a mini Lysol spray stick. And then inside, I have this little baby loofah, a little baby wet brush, just some deodorant. I personally use Guy deodorant. I think that it works better. No shame. Me and Dakota will probably end up sharing this if you think that's gross, I'm sorry, but we're having a baby. I have two scrunchies. Just some basic lotion. I know Dakota likes having lotion. And then we have two little travel toothbrushes. I think they just open like this. I got a red and a blue one. A little travel toothpaste. Two chapsticks. A little travel size shampoo. And a little travel size conditioner. And then just the little travel size body wash. Nobody has time for specific shampoos per person. I'm just not girly enough to worry about that kind of stuff personally. And then the last thing I have is just a razor. This is honestly, if we just happen to be there for a couple of days and your girl needs to shave her armpits, this is probably the only reason I don't think Dakota would worry too much about shaving his face and I could care less if my legs are hairy. I'm wearing a diaper, so. <laughs> And then this is 110% personal preference, but I'm just bringing my makeup bag. It's like a little small black one. I got off of Amazon too. And I'm just bringing makeup remover, some foundation, a little mascara, nothing crazy. 
I don't even really know how to do makeup or anything like that, so you don't have to worry about me bringing a ton. Very basic, you don't need to bring it. We just happen to have the space in the suitcase, so I did bring it. If we didn't have the room, I wouldn't be devastated if I didn't have it though. And then lastly for our suitcase, we're just bringing like this portable like little mesh laundry bag. And then everybody says to bring a 10 foot long charger. So we have our iPhone charger right here. I have two of these, one for each of us. And then the last main item that I don't know if I need to bring, someone tell me if I'm being crazy and I can take it out, but I 110% plan to raid the hospital drawers for all the free baby stuff that they're gonna give you. And so I'm just bringing like stop and shop, like grocery bag to be able to put like the diapers and the wipes and all that stuff they give you. Do they give you like a bag to bring the stuff home with or do I need to bring my own? This is obviously not cute and aesthetically pleasing like some people might want, but I wanna bring the stuff home. I want to take it. Let me know what the deal is if you know. Like, do I need to bring my own bag? Will they give me a bag? Will they shame me for filling up if it's a plastic bag that's clear? Let me know. I don't know what's going on here, but I know I'm gonna take the baby stuff. So this just folds flat right into the suitcase. So I'll take this with me too. And that's it. We kept it very basic, very minimal. What do we need? Can we live without it? Is it essential, yes or no? And we are able to do all that right inside that carry-on size suitcase. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll be doing a follow-up video as well as what I'm bringing for baby's hospital bag. So make sure you subscribe to see that and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.